In this video, we're going to take a look at how to set up this project. So let's start. So I have all my project files here. So the first one is 808 base. I'm going to drag that in. And I like to color code my bases a certain color. And then I'm going to have base as well. Just line these up to the front. So drag these files over. And that's also going to be colored this color. And the next one is EP. And that, I like that color. Now all these other ones we're gonna drag in later on. Um, but for now, we want music box. And this is also gonna be that bluish color. This is the acapella itself. Acapellas I always color purple or violet. This is a snap, so this is a drum kind of element. So I always color those reddish. And I think that's all we need. Let me just check real quick. Okay, now I'm gonna create another track and you don't have to do this, but this might just help you. I'll just create a simple piano keyboard and I'm gonna double click right here to rename and I'm gonna call it regions or you can call it, actually I'll call it sections. I'm gonna click and drag that right up to the top. And you see like when I move the mouse here, it creates this plus button. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to make this region. So I don't want to grab this, that, that loops it. I want to grab it from the bottom right. And that is going to allow me to drag this section and make it bigger. So I want it to be this long from the beginning of one to the beginning of five. Okay, now all these sections, I want them to be orange. And then I'm going to click on edit and say edit name. And I'm going to type intro. When I hover the mouse over it, you'll see that it says intro there. Now move the playhead down to here. Okay, you can just click to move the playhead. I'm gonna create another, I'm gonna right click and create another region. And this is gonna be the verse. So the verse is eight bars long. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right to 13. Edit, and we'll call this verse. Move the playhead down to here. Then we have a section, another section. That's two, four, six, eight. Edit. And this is called the pre-chorus. And um, there's one thing that I forgot to do, which is set the tempo. The tempo needs to be 87. Now, if you set it after, if you set it before, you're good. If you set it after and you say confirm, What's gonna happen is it's gonna pop up this audio adjustment. We do not want it to adjust. Otherwise, it's gonna stretch all of our sections. Okay, so you should already know how to kind of zoom in and out horizontally. So right at 21, this is where our chorus starts. And the chorus is eight bars. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So up to 29. Go to edit, edit name, call it chorus, and then Right at 29, we're repeating the chorus. So we have a double chorus. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So chorus, chorus, pre-chorus, verse, and intro. And that is how we set up uh, the first couple tracks and our sections. Now we have all of our blocks that we need to set up as well. So I'm just gonna take Crash and I'm gonna drag it right here. And I'm gonna set these over to here. Now, because these are drums, I'm gonna set them to this reddish color. I'm gonna scroll down a little bit horizontally, and I'm gonna drag them in one by one. Okay, so crash one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I have all my crashes in there. Next one is hi-hat, so I'll set it, I'll bring it down to this area so that it creates a new track. And then we'll just drag them in. There's seven of them, so this might take a little while. It's five. Now, if you drag them on top of each other, they will overwrite, so make sure that you don't do that. Just remember, um, drag them right beside each other. If you make a mistake, you can just click, press delete, and get rid of it that way. Okay, 
so this is six and I need seven. Actually, there's eight of them. And eight. Okay. So I don't like, I'm just gonna rename this to hi-hat. And this says crash zero one. I'm just gonna rename the track to crash so we can double click to rename. Okay, we got two more. We have our kick and our snare. So the kick, I'm gonna drag it down here so it creates a new track. I'll rename, so I'll double click to rename the track. I'll call it kick. Let's kick one. We need two, three, four, all the way up to seven. Okay, so it's a little bit tedious um, at this point, but once it's set up, it's set up. Okay, and I miscounted again. There's eight kicks as well. Just make sure I have all of them. So when you hover the mouse over this over the region, it will show you the name of the region. Okay. And the last one is snare. So snare is zero one. And there's only three snares. Okay, and that's it. So these are these will be your building blocks and um, you can watch the next or the, the project video uh, to learn what to do with them. But if you've gotten this far, and I'm just gonna do the last thing, just recolor all these, this kind of reddish pinkish color, because they're all drums. Okay, and that's that. So now the project is all set up. You can press save and you're good to go. Hope that helps.